Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm using this thinlets die, which is called Stitch Slots. It's a Tim Holtz die, and I'm just going to do something with them. I've cut some out previously. It's a lovely little die. It's got a raised stitched edge around it that you can feel when you're running your hand over it. And probably if I did it in a different sort of paper, you would be able to see it like you can there on the white. You can see the little stitching around it. I'm not sure if I've done these upside down or not. I may have, or back to front, because I think this is meant to be the front. But anyway, you can't really see that stitching. And I wanted to use them and make something with them. So I've got some little tags and they will slip in there, but the problem is they're going to come out the bottom. So I need to work out how to fix that because I don't want them to come out the bottom. I've got an envelope. I'm going to stick that onto the envelope and do something on the envelope first to decorate that up. So I thought if I put like a little, you know, a little folded piece of this is just file folder if I put this in here that I should be able to make it work hopefully all being well I've measured that to the width of the slot just a bit bigger and folded it in half this would probably be maybe um, two and a half inches three inches wide I'm not really sure I haven't just a piece I've pulled out of the cupboard and I thought if I put this on here that it would create a little channel but obviously I'm going to have to cut the front section off otherwise I've just created nothing I'm just measuring how much I need to chop off that front section I could sit down and I could work out these measurements and do it like that but you know I just thought I'd wing it it suits my personality better just to wing it and if you're like that too I guess it's showing you how you can do it without measuring everything up so now that is going to create a little slot at the back. Now if I put some a bead of glue along the front and a bead of glue along the back edge. I'm hoping that if I stick this on here it's going to work. And that will go in there. So we'll do the others and I'll see if it's, yeah, so it's not going to go in. Maybe the tag's a little bit big now, although I guess I can make the others deeper than what I've made that first one. That's probably the idea because I don't want to go over the bottom of this. So I could have made it deeper than it is, but I haven't. And this is the piece of paper that I've got so that I can make them all that size so my tags would then be staggered or I can make them the whole depth. But I'll make a couple more and see how it's going to work for me. So again, I'm just using my thing as a guide, putting a pencil mark there and chopping it off. Step one. Folding it up in half, or roughly in half, and then putting it in here so that the top part is where it needs to be, which is on that, on this piece here. So I'm just putting the top of this on that piece there, like that. And when I flip it back over, I'm then putting a mark on the front piece. And then I know how much I need to cut off that front piece in order that it won't poke over the top and it won't block the hole when I go and slot something into it.
I think that's looking pretty good. I just want to now do some other stuff onto my envelope first before I stick it on here. Just um, putting some glue down and then I will work out where the paper's going to go and I'll chop it off after I've glued it. I'm going to use some double sided tape on this to stick it down. It is a little bit bulky. This is Tim Holtz ephemera. I just thought that maybe some of this would look quite cute if I poke it in here. Let's see how we're going to go with some of this stuff being put into here. Because the pockets aren't super deep, which is, I think, quite a good thing. And always nice to have some round things in here. That's a bit too big, that one. That's all right. Oh, I need some other things for the back. There you go. I don't like this one up the top, so I'm going to change it up. Maybe put one of these big things in here. There you go, I've got a little pocket stacked full of things and you can write on the back of these or you can just use it decoratively. So now I've just finished this up and I did actually film it but forgot to turn the camera on so I'll just show you what I've done. I've stuck a piece of paper on the flap of the envelope and then just cut round it from the back. I've also cut a piece that will fit into here, so this green piece. And then I've cut another piece the same size and I've cut it so that it will fit onto the the other the outside of the envelope. So now I'll be able to put things into this envelope and that's a lovely little embellishment for my journal. I have to go and put all the stuff back in that I took out to finish this up. But that's it. It's done. This is Deborah. Thanks for watching. Cheers.